Hey folks, Pastor Craig here coming to you for our midday moment for Friday, April the 17th. Uh, as you can tell, we're, um, we're outside today. Uh, we're actually up here in Johnson City doing some errands, running around a little bit, uh, taking care of a few things of business and uh, the, the wind may be in a way, traffic may be a problem today and I hope it's not. I won't know until I until I look back at it, unfortunately, until I listen to it after the fact. There goes a big old truck hauling something. There goes a, a recycling truck. So uh, it is what it is for today. Uh, we had to be out in town today, and, and I did not want to miss the day, so we came prepared. Brought the, brought the phone with me, of course. Brought the, you always have the phone with you, I guess. We brought my book, and just wanted to pause and stop by just for a brief minute. Uh, to uh, just to bring a word to you, and I'm, I'm discovering sitting on the back of my truck that that's blowing around a little bit. Let me let me just move that. Maybe it won't be so wobbly. But I but I want to pray with you. Uh, many of those same needs that we've been sharing uh, this week. A lot of families that are that are have been directly impacted by the corona. We call to know uh, Carol Abbott's family has she has a sister and a niece that have been touched by this virus. Uh, we're hearing more and more numbers in our state, but praise the good Lord, we've been protected here at New Salem, and for that we give him all the glory and praise that he's uh, protected us and kept our families safe from harm. And and uh, as I said, for a, for a small period of time, that kind of bothered me a little bit. I didn't want to pray so selfishly, but somebody corrected me and said, that's what we're supposed to pray. We pray for our family we pray for God's protection pray for God's provision and, and then be quick to give him glory when he does when he does hear our prayers and does protect us. So we pray continued blessings uh, on our church. Uh, we ask you to pray that God will give us direction as leadership to know uh, what needs to be happening next, what kind of steps we need to take. There's been some lifting of, of some of the, the uh, coming together orders, stay at home orders. So as those as those changes develop, we need to be wise to that as a church. So pray for us, pray for myself and our deacons and Brother Tim, Brother Joe, as we make those decisions about what it is that we need to do uh, to keep our folks safe, but at the same time, get us back together just as quick as, as humanly possible. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. And I want to share with you a, 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 what I found to be a very encouraging word yet again from Dr. Jeremiah's book. Father, I praise you and thank you for this beautiful day, for the spring-like air we feel today, Father, for the sunshine, for the blue skies. And I thank you for the blessings of, of being able to reach out to the people that call New Salem home, those that call New Salem uh, family and friends. Lord, I thank you, Father, for the impact that we can have even over the internet and for the word of encouragement. And I do pray your blessings, Lord, on these times. I pray God you'd use us today, Lord, to speak a word of encouragement, Lord, to those that, that need it most desperately today. And Lord, we do lift before you those names and those worries and those concerns. It's, it's on the hearts and minds of your people. Oh God, would you would you lift those worries and concerns? Help us to know how to better roll them into your hands and trust you to do what only you can do. I pray God your blessings on our leadership of our country. Father, right from a president right down, Lord, to our local leadership. And I ask a blessing on us as leadership of New Salem and in our other sister churches that we as pastors and, and associate pastors and staff would know what needs to happen next, where we need to be next, and what needs to go on uh, with, our, with our coming back together. So I pray your blessing on those worries, those concerns. I ask you, Father, that you will use us for your glory, protect us as we travel, guide us, and use us, we pray, for your purposes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen. Again, this um, this wind may be making it hard. If it is, I, I, I apologize. Uh, if it's if it's roaring around me, uh, it's kind of gusting. So maybe we can get we can get a word into you uh, between the roaring and, and again. Unfortunately, I won't be able to know until I watch it back later. Uh, but we go back to Dr. Jeremiah's book today, "Living with Confidence in a Chaotic World." This is lesson number eight out of ten. Uh, so far, we've talked about uh, his words of encouragement to us to stay calm, uh, to stay compassionate, to stay constructive, to stay challenged, to stay centered, stay confident, stay consistent is where we come to today. And I, and I love, again, the, how God has used this book to bless my heart. Uh, it's been such a word of encouragement to me. And, 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 and Dr. Uh, uh, Jeremiah's word to us today comes from 1 John chapter 2 in verse number 28 and he speaks to the very idea of being consistent 
because we know the day's coming when the Lord's going to come get us again. And that's, that's what John writes to us, and that's a, that's a powerful, powerful truth that we all need to be reminded of. But, but I think the, the application for us today, being separate, being not able to come together and, and have that, uh, that continuity with our, with, our, with our church members and having that uh, uh, connection with one another, uh, consistency can be tough. Um, here's what I would challenge you with today. Uh, so many of us, oftentimes, we, we struggle for, for perfection in this spiritual life, and we, we compare ourselves to, to others and, and uh, compare ourselves to, to folks that are seeming like they're having more success and doing it better than us. Uh, realize today, child of God, that perfection is not even a possibility as long as we're in this human fleshly existence. Don't be discouraged when, when you don't live up to what you define, what you recognize to be perfection, because the truth of the matter is, God's not looking for perfection. He, he knows us. He, he knows our fleshly tendencies. He knows our failures and our faults. He's not looking for perfection. What he's looking for is consistency and faithfulness. And living a consistent life, even when no one's around watching us, Amen. That's that's even more of a challenge now when we're basically quarantined away from folks and those that, that might be the iron sharpening iron, those that we might have connections with that that, that keep us focused, keep us on that, on that straight and narrow, so to speak. It's tougher uh, to live a life that's consistent with what God's called us to be. But here's what uh, Dr. Jeremiah would remind us today is, is living a consistent walk with the Lord uh, even when no one's watching, will allow us to be to be blessed at the time of His coming. I think I wasn't going to read it, but I, I do want to. Here, here's the verse in focus this morning or this afternoon. First John, First John, chapter one, verse number eight or verse number twenty-eight says, uh, "And now, little children, abide in Him, that when He shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before Him at His coming." Living lives every day understanding that our, our Heavenly Father is expecting things of us, expecting a certain life from us to come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. And he says that we live that life so that when he does come, John says, that when he does appear, we can have confidence and not be ashamed at his coming. And, and there's some great applications into that. We need to be, we need to be consistently Christ-like. We need to be consistently caring consistently confident, consistently compliant with what God's called us to be and challenged us to be as his people. So staying consistent in our walk with the Lord, even when no one's around to watch, even when no one is able to, to call us on it, recognizing that God's word is still our marching orders, that God's sweet Holy Spirit still indwells us and still empowers us uh, for the life that we're striving to live. And recognizing that even though nobody else is looking, our Heavenly Father knows our hearts, He knows our, our lives, knows where we find ourselves. And we need to be living lives that are consistent uh, before Him. And the challenge that He gives to us there in, his, in, his, in the Word is the very idea, of the, the, the motive, uh, the motivation for our consistency is the appearing of our Heavenly Father. Amen. Uh, recognizing the life that we live, let it all be pleasing uh, to Him. He knows our hearts. He knows our, our desires. He knows uh, our faults and failures, loves us in spite of ourselves. Amen. So let's live our lives. Let's live lives today that are consistent with who God is, consistent with what He's done in our lives so that we not be ashamed on the day that He comes to get us and take us home. God bless you for being with us today. I pray you'll tune in with us Sunday morning at our 11 a.m. worship service from the sanctuary there at New Salem Church. Hope and pray that those songs and that word of encouragement will help you where you find yourself. Uh, reach out to us. You, you've got my number. You, you can find me here on Facebook. You can find me uh, on our church's website, newsalemchurch.net. There's contact information there. So you feel free to reach out to us. If I can do anything for you, I'm, I'm at your beck and call. Uh, and, I, and I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. So again, I, I apologize if the audio is not being the best today, and I know the video is not best today because you got this in the middle of the video. So I, I can't do anything about that, 
but if the if the audio has been horrible today, please recognize that we're we're outside in in town and a lot of background noise. But I hope and pray that part of it's been able to make it to where you are and you've been encouraged by these moments together. Thank you for tuning in to this midday moment for a Friday. We love you. God bless you. Take care.